it's your girl taylor moore and i'm back with another video i'm always doing a fashion haul because i'm always freaking shopping okay make it stop i need therapy okay like we don't gotta talk about it okay um but yeah i i'm kind of doing like these mini hauls now because sometimes i don't always buy like 10 or 20 things from a store so i purchased a few things from fashion nova and it's only four things and i'm like you know what some of my big booty judies oh <gasps> maybe that's what i should call you guys my big booty judies uh, instead of my bougie booze let me know if that sticks write in the comment if you think that's a good name to call you guys <laughs> but um if uh if you're interested in like mini hauls and stuff let me know if that in the comments as well because i'll definitely do more things instead of just like waiting until i have a bunch of stuff before doing a haul so but yeah i have like a few items that i purchased from fashion nova um i obviously bought more things but i just the stuff that didn't fit or didn't look good i've already sent back by now so i'm showing you the stuff that i did decide to keep and um two of them are like one pieces like how this is i actually bought this for work this is so cute i can't wait to show it to you guys and um i bought one one piece that's like um like a unitard for like the club or going out or layering something like that um super affordable and i loved it everything was buy one get one half off at the time so i got it for half price basically and oh no it was buy one get one free sorry um, everything was buy one get one free so I basically got everything for 50% off so I love that and um, I also purchased a dress set I love a good set okay if you're a person that has difficulty putting outfits together you can't go wrong with a two-piece set like whether it's a dress and a sweater or, or a three-piece or set I don't know but like you can't go wrong like you really can't um, and then the last thing I have is just a maxi dress that's so sexy because your girl is getting on flights, okay? Your girl is going places, okay? Not staying in the same place that you left me in, okay? Every weekend for the next four weeks, I'm gone, okay? New York, Phoenix, um, Dallas, M Miami, Miami. Yes, your, your girl is, is globe trotting. Okay, well, I wouldn't say globe trotting. <laughs> I'm definitely staying in America, but you get the point. I'm not catching feelings, I'm catching flights, okay? So I have to buy something cute to wear to Miami. And of course, when I do decide um, that I'm gonna start packing for Miami, I'm gonna show you what I'm packing. I need to do a little bit more research on those because I've always wanted to do that, like get ready with me for a trip kind of video. And I like have no idea how to do that, so. I want to see what other people are doing <laughs> but in you know without further ado let's get into the video oh um don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i love you guys okay so let's get into the video tell me this is not a look hunty okay look at this imagine if i had on some heels with this Okay, so this is a jumpsuit, obviously. It looks like it's two, you know, it's like a high-waisted pants and a shirt tucked in, but no, it is actually one piece, and it's like an inverted polka dot, so it's like you have the black background, white polka dots, and here you have um, white background, black polka dots. And I really just was like, oh, let me try this. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but for 20-something bucks, this was like a freaking deal, okay? Because it looks way more expensive than it actually was. Um, Big Booty Judy approved. Big Booty Judy approved, Lord have mercy, okay? And I just feel like I'm I'm really wanting to look super professional and like sexy, but the right type of subtle sexy. Um, I've always mentioned that I'm a full-time real estate agent. I've been doing that for years now and I always want to kind of stand out 
as in like, oh, well, she cares about her appearance, but she's also a professional woman. She knows what she's doing. So I'm always on the look out for clothes that kind of tell that. And I feel like this is doing that. Like, I just feel like this looks so good and I, I can't even deal, okay? I already stand out as a black woman here in, you know, Austin, Texas in the real estate world, but I'm gonna be standing out a little bit more, this much more because this outfit popping okay closing closing photos you know like me holding up my title sign with my client or holding up their keys about to be popping okay ask about me ask and i also wanted to mention that you don't have to wear it the way that i was wearing it i just kind of did like that secretary blouse type of bow but i'm sure you can find some other ways to wear it or maybe you might even just wear it like this, you know, or do something cute or a little knot or something, I don't know. But just wanted to put that out there, you do not, it doesn't come that way. So you can, you know, do whatever you feel like doing. Or maybe you might leave it open. I don't think I would do that, but maybe, maybe you could, so. Okay, now we're getting into the next thing. This is the, hold on, let me put this. This is like, I believe it's called like the Amber Snatched Bodysuit. And I will tell you, it's definitely doing some snatching. It is um, a very thick ribbed material. So high quality, definitely not see-through. I wouldn't say it's Big Booty Judy approved because it's definitely sucking you in. You're not gonna be jiggling, okay? But I mean, if you have a nice figure, you can definitely show it off. It's not doing like a weird gap thing here i mean maybe a little bit but i'm sure if you just kind of like pull it up a little bit um you should be good so <laughs> get it as close to your crotch as you can okay um i i love this this was like exactly what i was looking for i always tell you i'm always looking for stuff that shows off my arms uh, my arms are a big insecurity of mine i have arms like a freaking linebacker okay but I love stuff that makes me feel sexy. Um, and I feel like just sleeveless stuff is just like a great way to show off my arms. They, they look better this way than they do um, covered. So that's my personal opinion. Um, but I love black. I think they may have had some other colors. And now that I've tried it, I think I would actually buy it in other colors. I wish they had maybe like a gray. I think they had like a chocolate brown for sure, so. Um, like I said, anything that I, I've purchased, if it's still for sale, I'm definitely going to link it down below. So, um, you know, Fashion Nova is good for at least still listing the item if it's sold out. So you can always maybe sign up to get alerts or something if it's sold out or sold out in your size, something like that. But um, this is very curve hugging. So if you're somebody who's a little bit body conscious, I don't know if I would recommend something like this because it is very tight, very fitted. But if you're somebody who just like embraces your body, loves the skin that you're in, I would totally recommend. So keep that in mind. I absolutely love this. And I'm into it, okay? I literally love everything that I actually did keep. Everything kind of fits like a dream and I'm just obsessed with it. I cannot wait to wear this. Like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should show you what I was gonna wear it with. Hold on. I initially planned on like wearing this to the club or something when I was in New York. So I wanted to have a jacket and this is just like a utilitary um, jacket. But I just thought it would be really cute. Like putting something very curve fitting tight um, with something so just baggy and like masculine. So, I don't know, I thought it was cute. But let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, let's get into this two piece set. I forgot what it's called. Um, it's called the Brighter Days Sweater Dress Set. And I just thought it was so different, like, First of all, it's literally like a million colors, so it's super easy to like match with. And I love that. And then um, it's like a knit material. And I've, I've just never seen anything quite like this. It's kind of giving me Missoni vibes. 
It's long, it has splits on the side. And let me show you the dress. First off, we all know that I don't have a lot of breast, I'm not very voluptuous, but I feel like it, the, the way that this, this kind of like square curvy neckline is like very flattering for me. Um, it's also hugging the curves, okay? Like hugging the curves. And then it's, it kind of opens up here. So that's also really cool. I mean, I guess they could have made the split a little bit lower, but I'm totally fine with the, the way that it is. I, I actually really love it. Um, I just feel like a nice simple heel with this, um, or maybe even a dramatic heel. I mean, it's already such a bold, wild look, you know, you might as well go all the way out. I don't know. Um, but I just love it. And let me show you the back. So cute, right? Like, I just think this is such a great set to like wear to an event or to brunch. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's great for like the spring, maybe early fall, you can still pull something like this off because it's just so colorful and I'm not really a big color girl in, in the winter months, but um, let's see, it has a button here. I don't think I would actually ever button this. I kind of like the way that it looks open. The only negative thing I will say about this is it kind of takes your waistline away. Um, I don't really know why it, or how it's even doing that, but I feel like I look very much square here. I'm sure that, you know, if my waist was this big, there's nothing that any clothing could do to make me look like I didn't have a waist. But um, I definitely feel a little bit more square and up and down. But nonetheless, I, I just still really love this and I thought it was so unique and different. I can't wait to actually have an occasion to wear it. Okay guys, this is the last and final item. This is the item that I said I bought from Miami. This is giving me like the late Terry Mugler, okay? Like look at all the cuts, look at all the slits. And I got this for $15.98. It's called like the VIP access dress. They had it in a few colors and I probably might get it in like red and like an emerald green. If it's still available, I'm probably gonna purchase one myself. So I need to buy it before I put this out on the internet. <laughs> but you guys, I just love this. And surprisingly, it's decent quality. Like. I was not expecting it. It's long, so if you are a little bit taller, you could totally get away with this. I'm gonna be wearing heels, so this is gonna be perfect for me. Um, but I, I imagine if you're like up to like 5'10 or so, this would still look great on you. Maybe also if you're not as curvy as I am. But tell me this is just not absolutely adorable, okay? And no matter what I do, it's making my stomach look flat, okay? I love that. And let's check out the back. Not too much going on in the back. It's really more of a party in the front. <laughs> um, and I just think that this is so different. It's sexy, but it's not like slutty, if that makes any sense. I feel like the, the slits and stuff are a little bit more artistic than just like if I had just had it like all the way open or, or anything like that. And I feel like, again, as a person with a small chest, um, it's hard to find things that I just feel are flattering towards that. And I actually feel like this looks better on me because I have a small chest. So let me know what you think in the comments, but I absolutely love, 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 love this. And I cannot wait, I cannot wait to wear it. But all right, my big booty Judies, that is all that I have for you today. Let me make sure I'm not showing any nipple. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful for you guys. I love you. Mwah. I really wanna start calling you guys my big booty Judies, okay? Whether you are male, I do have a lot of male watchers, um, or female, whatever it is, you're a big booty Judy, okay? From now on. I just think that's just a little bit more authentic, right? Because I'm always talking about being a big booty Judy. Um, <laughs> but you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really do want to know what you think of these little hauls and what you thought of the clothing that I, I bought and how do you think it fit on me? Is there anything that you want to buy? Um, just let me know. Um, I do want to say that like, 
Fashion Nova, I feel like is, is kind of falling off a little bit. Um, I've said that in some of my other Fashion Nova hauls as well, but I do think like their service has gotten a little bit better as far as like returns. It doesn't take very long to get a return. Like I'll mail something back and then I'll get it my refund in like a day or two days from when it was shipped. I mean, when it was um, delivered. So that's a plus, but I don't know. I've just been seeing a lot of weird stuff about Fashion Nova lately on um, on Instagram, on YouTube and stuff that like, that leads me to believe that like people aren't very satisfied with not only the quality, which you know is to be expected because you're not paying a lot of money for the clothing. So it's really kind of like one or two time wear. Like what did you expect when you bought something for like $10? or $40, $30, but I don't know. It seems like people just are also not into the fact that, you know, they are a little bit more inclusive than they used to be as far as sizing. Um, they do go up to a lot of sizes, but sometimes people just feel like they'll make the same thing in a larger size as opposed to like really just trying to cater to um, different body types and models and stuff like even a lot of the models still have you know that hourglass shape and that those hourglass proportions whereas a lot of um you know i wouldn't say regular size women but like um maybe some of the more normal standard maybe i think standard might be a better word um some of the the sizing that's standard and some of the sizing that's for the curvy um or the plus sized like not everybody has an hourglass shape. There are so many different types of shapes. You know, you can be square shaped, you can be um, triangular shaped, um, you can have a little stomach, you can have a little butt, you can have um, no butt, you can have no stomach, you can have no breasts, you can have a lot of breasts. And um, sometimes it's like, people feel like the representation just isn't there. And then especially like as a black woman, um, there definitely is not a lot of black models, at least not to my liking. And um, I'm a light-skinned woman or, um, to, to be honest with you, I don't even think I'm light-skinned. I think I'm just like a weird yellow color. <laughs> but um, as a fairer-skinned woman, I feel like maybe I'm medium at most. I don't necessarily... Um, don't get me wrong, I just feel like there's a lot of representation for people like me. I'm wanting, when I'm shopping and stuff, I I feel like I already get the representation for people that are similar to my skin tone. I wanna see people that are darker. I wanna see people that have a little bit more richness to their, um, to their skin. And I just feel like we're the people who buy it. Like black women, we're such large consumers. We should be fairly represented in some of these markets that we shop in. So that's just my two cents. Um, you know, I'm tired of like, everybody's so racially ambiguous all the time. Like, please throw some, throw some like clearly defined black women with black features in some of these ads, you know? Everybody doesn't have to have like this silky hair. Don't listen to me. I mean, I know I have a weave in and stuff right now, but like I wear my natural hair most of the time and I feel like that's not often represented. And it's just a whole bunch of things. I could go on and on and on. So I do definitely understand some of the frustration with Fashion Nova, but ugh, it's kind of hard to stop shopping because I still feel like I find some really good gems there. So that's just my two cents. Um, as far as like sponsorships and stuff, I would consider working with Fashion Nova in the future um, because I believe everybody deserves redemption and you know, I obviously still shop at Fashion Nova with my own money so I like Fashion Nova. Um, I will continue to keep buying things from Fashion Nova but I have to be honest and say that there are some things that I would like to see that I just haven't seen. Um, there's definitely changes, but I would definitely like to see more size inclusivity, um, more flattering clothing for different body types, um, and also just different, different representations of like culture as well. Like I wanna see some, you know, 
more deeply rich tones. I want to see kinkier hair represented as well. Um, not all black women um, wear wigs and weaves. So some wear their natural hair. I mean, where's, there's no models with dreadlocks or something that you could get. There's no models with an afro or just like their natural hair texture. I don't know. I might be reading a little bit too much into this because at the end of the day, a business is going to do what they want to do. But I just feel like if you're going to be marketing towards black women, sometimes it's nice for people to feel like they're being represented. So that's just my two cents. But <laughs> I'll end the video because I'm sure that this is getting a little bit too long. And um, like I said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Brown sugar black I guess high off the cold Don't know how to make Brown sugar